Hello guys, today I'm going to show you a simple solution for no option to boot to issue on HP computers, Elite Desk per desk, doesn't really matter. So this is a hard drive with legacy uh, Windows installed. That means that it doesn't boot through secure boot, it boots through legacy mode. And we get no option to boot to when we try to boot it up. So you just need to restart the computer. Just hold the power button, make sure you do a hard reset. And now repeatedly press F10 while the system's booting. And they will get you into the BIOS of the computer. The one thing that all tutorials will tell you to do is to check the secure boot configuration. And as you see, we have a legacy boot enabled. There is a legacy SSD inside of the computer, but it still doesn't boot. These biases are shit. They are awful. And to bypass the error, you need to check your boot order. And as you see, <laughs> legacy boot was enabled inside of the security menu, but it's disabled right here. What do you need to do now is to go back to security, secure boot configuration, disable legacy boot, press F10 to accept, save changes and exit from the BIOS. Now the computer will reboot itself. And as you can see, we will get the secure boot menu. This is okay because we will change it later. We just need the computer to save it and to remember it for the next time. So we don't get the same error message. As you can see, this hard drive is in legacy mode. It doesn't have secure boot enabled. So there's again, no option to boot to. You're going to shut down the computer again. Turn it back on. Again, get into the BIOS, repeatedly press F10. And now go to security, secure boot configuration, enable legacy boot again, confirm it by pressing F10. And now when we go to storage and boot order, there is our legacy boot sources enabled. As you can see, the hard drive is first. That's also a thing that you should focus on. The hard drive option should always be uh, the first one, basically. So feel free to change it. If there's a USB floppy CD first, just switch it inside of the BIOS. Now, accept it by F10. Click file, save changes and exit, save it. And now the computer will reboot and it will boot your hard drive, just like that. So yeah, we are booting into Windows. This is how shitty the HP BIOSes are. And yeah, that should be your problem fixed. If it doesn't help, try the other methods that are mentioned in other videos. I just had to figure this out myself.